And now it's time to drown the tack light in this hot boiling water. Hey guys, so I'm kind of late to the game, but today we're going to be looking at the Bell and How Attack Light. Now this one is supposed to be extremely durable as it states by the manufacturer that it is heat resistant, cold resistant, water resistant, and it could handle very high impact from a drop. So we're going to be doing five different testing from simplest to the most rigorous test. First, we're going to bring in the pitch black room and turn it on and see how well it lights up the room. Second is the freezing test, then drop test, water test, then heat test. Now, of course, we will only proceed to the next test if it passed the previous one. So here's the tech light out of the box. It is actually pretty light and the outer shell is made out of plastic material. So let's go ahead and see what kind of battery this thing takes. So this particular attack light does require three AA batteries. Now it should last you for over 40 hours if you turn it on continuously. Now you will be able to tell if it gets low because the light will start to get dim as the battery get weakens. So simply lock it up and then you can just carry it around like this. And wow, it is very bright guys. You may not want to look directly into this light. So according to the manufacturer, this light is supposed to last us for 100,000 hours, which is equivalent to over 11 years if you leave it on constantly. Now to turn this light off, all you have to do is push down on it on the top and it will turn off automatically. There is a switch on the inside that will automatically switch on when we raise it up. So here, as you can see, when the tech light is folded down, it is even shorter than the iPhone X. And now it's time to do the first test. So here I am in my closet. This closet is about 80 to 100 square foot. So let's go ahead and turn the light off. And as you can see, it is pitch black in here. So I got the tech light barely to open there just to show you the difference. And it actually light up the uh, room quite well already. So let's go ahead and open it fully. And here it is. Now I'm actually pretty impressed. So this light inside a 80 to 100 square foot room will be lit up pretty bright here as you can see. So our next test is going to be the freeze test. And now I'm going to actually put this tech light inside the freezer here. It's about 930 right now. So we're going to leave it in there for about three hours. Then we will take it out to see if it will still function as it is before. So it is about 1235 right now, a little bit over three hours. So let's go ahead and take this thing out and see if it will still work. And now for the moment of truth, after three hours, does it still work? And it actually still does work, guys. Wow. So it actually passes the uh, freeze test. And let me zoom in to show you guys. It actually have like ice around the uh, housing here. And I'm actually surprised because, you know, the housing is made out of plastic. And I did not think it was going to be that durable. So again, still works just as good as before. So there's the frosting on the housing as you can see there. And now it's time for the drop test. So first I'm just gonna drop it down onto the grass here. Then after this one, I'll actually drop it down onto concrete. So let's go ahead and drop it now. Look like there is no damage at all whatsoever. So let's go ahead and raise it up a little bit higher this time at about uh, six foot. So still no damage at all and the light still works just like new. So now let's go ahead and bring it inside the garage. That way we can actually do a drop test and let it fall onto concrete. So what happened was when it landed, it busted open the battery cover. And as you can see, it's cracked here. So battery cover is cracked, but let's go ahead and put back the battery to see if the light will still work. And the light still works, guys. So I guess you can say this is a pass since they claim that the light will sustain a drop, not the battery cover. So 
the lights still practically work fine so the next test is going to be a water and heat test so what i'm going to do is boil up some water and we can actually going to dip this in the hot boiled water Alrighty, so I have the hot and boiled water ready to go and do this test. So here's the light already on. And now to be fair, since the uh, battery cap did bust it uh, cracked earlier, we're going to dip this from the light side down. That way it doesn't touch the uh, battery. Since let's say if the cap was not busted, water could have not gotten in there. So in this case, this will be a fair test. Here goes. So light still working underwater in the boiling heat. So I do see water coming inside. However, I'm not sure if you can see it there, but there's water inside the light, but it still functioned perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. And it still works perfectly fine, guys. So let's go ahead and set this over on the table since it is getting kind of hot on my hand here. So if you look closely inside, there is water inside still, but light still function perfectly. There's the water dripping out and you can still see the uh, heat. So I would say this test is definitely a pass both water resistant and heat resistant. So technically, again, if the battery cap was not busted open earlier, this light would have been perfectly fine in the water so for under 14 dollars this tech light definitely worth every single penny so just like always i will leave a link to this light in the description box below thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video